Welcome to the Rapid Valve Guide Liner installation video. The following video will demonstrate for you the tools and procedures you're going to need to properly install your valve guide liners. The first step in any uh, valve guide installation is to first identify what head you're working with. For today's sample we're going to be using a 7 millimeter head. I'm going to first measure the diameter of the valve stems which will determine which liner I want to use. My intake valve measures at 276. While my exhaust measures at 275. One of the first things you want to determine when you're about to remote a guide is first that we have a head that has not been used for guide liners before so we can just go ahead and ream the holes out. The first thing you want to identify is what size seat collars are going to work for you. Uh, the Rapid Line highly recommends using 60 degree seat collars. It'll pick up up the third angle of your valve seat uh, that's not worn. For the intake, I have chosen a 1 and 3 quarter inch 60 degree seat collar and I'm just looking at it beforehand making sure that it doesn't hit any of the side walls at all or the side of the cylinder. Um, for the uh, exhaust, I've chosen a one and a quarter inch. Fits nice, doesn't hit any of the side. Rapid highly recommends using our RF980 reaming fixture uh, when reaming out the guide. Uh, this system will uh, maximize your reamer life. Uh, it will also make it a lot easier for you to make a consistent hole. If you buy an RF980, when you get it, the regulator will be uh, already preset in the factory. However, because some plants have different line pressures, uh, you'll need to set it again because everyone has their own comfort zone. First thing to do is wind this screw back, make sure it's loose, and the rams are in. Connect up your airline. Okay. Now you can take and you want to adjust this screw in until you see your rams come out. Right there. After you do that, you want to give it two turns. Lock it in. At this time, just check. Make sure you got enough pressure. After you've uh, set your pressure, you'll never need to touch that again. That's set up for you. Uh, then you need to take your reamer. Rapid reamers are made specifically so that they'll all work with this gun. And you insert your reaming bushing. The, uh, you want, when you install this in your 980, you want to make sure that the blades and the reaming bushing aren't locked into the cylinder. We'll demonstrate that in a second. You insert your reamer in through the hole into your chuck. Tighten it down. Now this is where we want to see, make sure that there's some movement here so the blades don't run into the back of the bushing. Once you got that set, lock it in. Now you can take, we're going to do the intake valve first. And so we're going to take the Z collar we selected for that, slide it on, lock it in. Now we're ready to go. One of the biggest benefits to using the Rapid RF980 is when you go to put this reamer into the hole and you get your seat collar locked in, the 60 degree is locked right into the head. Even if your 45 degree seat collar is seat valve seat is worn, your seat collar is still locked in. The blades are not into your workpiece that. You never want to start your reamer with your blades into the workpiece. As you can see right now, I'm going to start this drill up, it's not working at all. The pilot is into the valve guide, but it's not into the blades when they're going to do the cutting. Now that we're ready to ream, uh, there's one more thing you need to remember. This is high, but you want to make sure that you're putting your weight right over top of the center of the RF980 or if you're using a drill you want to be right over the center. These uh, reamers are tool steel but you can still bend them if you're out here leaning on it. So we start it up, we go all the way down through, when we get to the bottom 
We simply release the trigger and it'll pull the reamer back up for us. We've stopped the drill, we just want to let it come right back up and through. To make sure that I made a good hole, Rapid provides, uh, we'll sell go-no-go -no -go gauges. So you insert this into the hole, as long as it goes in to your reamed guide, to up to this point, you're good. If it goes past this point on the go-no-go -no -go gauge, your hole's too big and your liner will not size properly. So I've checked my hole and my hole is good, I'm ready to go. Uh, my next step is to select my liner. For this uh, purpose, uh, I have an intake valve here that is 276 uh, on uh, the stem diameter. And I'm going to go with 2000 of clearance, which means I'm going to use a DS2088. Uh, which gives me a finished ID, minimum finished ID of 278.